We've held position on lap one. That's not great, but it's not terrible. Stay focused. Okay, clear. Okay, we've lost a position. That's us down a place. DRS is now enabled. Right, let's not stay behind this car for long. We need to get past.
Virtual safety car, virtual safety car. Reduce speed immediately and keep a positive delta. Drop your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. Green flag. Gap to car in front is 1.9 seconds. engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon. Okay, you're in the top 10.
tried to stay with him, he might make a mistake. We could still regain the position. Okay, clear. The gap to the car ahead is 3.8 seconds. We expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Approaching the date window, you'll be on the softs.
Yellow flag. Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. Green flag. We want to pit this lap, so push now. Are you alright? Engine off, engine off. The wall. Ugh. Oh, chaos, man. I saw it, man. I got it. I got it on camera. I was watching Diego two spots behind you. That was crazy. Yeah, that. Um, yeah, I lost focus for a split second. Sorry, buddy. You're not the it only happens. one that's 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 had a yeah, sad exit to this and, race. And, and so. I saw. Oh, well. So I do wonder, I do wonder with the safety car, what kind of maybe strategy, I mean, if I'm I mean, Cub, just give I'm sitting here with these shit-ass hard tires, and I'm getting passed by everybody, the thought has to be running through his mind, do I just pit and find some fucking softs? I think, if I was his strategist, I would tell him to go in, but, I mean, you know, absolutely Red, you know I'm not the right best now. strategist. Um... You, I think you have the right strategy uh, right now, uh, 
because the the arts are, are not uh, fast enough. If cool. I was Confirmed. Cub, uh, Raro is the next strategist uh, for next race. Uh, no big Cub cool. and Cuthbert both in. Yeah. Oh, so, Cuthbert holding him up, holding him up so hard. You know, Cub screaming at his monitor on that one. <laughs> oh man. We do see some red marks. Delicious soft tires. Cubs back. He's got a need for speed. Where is he going to come out? It does look like there's quite a few. Oh, people if this in the game pits. had unsafe releases, that would have just been one of those. Diego pitting. Yeah, the pit small. stops in this game are fucking trash. <laughs> you just see Cub just basically pushing him around out the pit stop here. Oh my goodness. Chaos, we have a clip of you going into the wall if you'd I like know. to relive that moment. Oh, well, you can go right ahead. I've got it on my recording, too. Ah, tragic. But mm. these things happen. Yeah, that's racing, you know. We had uh, we had, we had, had plenty of that on Monday, as I'm sure you remember. Yes, certainly did, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was probably the most carnage in any race of FRL uh, history, maybe. Yes, of FRL history, I think I would have to agree with that. Almost half of the grid went to uh, DNF, <laughs> so... Yeah. Speaking of half the grid, we only have 10 people left on this grid, which means mm -hmm. if you survive, you got points, points for you all. Points. Of us. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, that it, it, it hurts because I was just like, okay, cool. Just need to cruise in here. I've got Falco here. My race is still with Cuthbert. I'm a couple seconds behind him, but I think I'm going to be able to run slightly more pace late on. And then, boop, in the wall. Ah. Just coming out of the source. Yep, I have uh, been there. This uh, this game can be a little bit unforgiving, uh, oh, especially yes. some of these. I feel like Spa does have. There's there's a couple of tracks that have like this. Uh, I think Baku is the same, where yeah, there's a Baku's lot of really long. It, it's like a lot of really long straights, and it it just eases you into this feeling of kind of like calmness. And easy to definitely lose full focus. It was super weird. I I don't think I've ever crashed in that area. It was just power on a little bit too fast, I guess. That must have been it. Yeah. You you lost the rear? I didn't see it. Uh, rear crash. just kicked out uh, as I was going to the source and I crashed into the inside wall just at the pit exit. Oh, okay. You was exiting the pit? No, 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 no. I crashed nope. at the pit exit. I was doing one more lap and then pitting. Ah, uh, okay, okay. All right, so we got another lap of safety car here. Yeah, I think because Falco, which to be honest, this is absolute gold for Falco because he was quite a way, ways back. Way back, and he's, yeah. He's going to make up all his time. Well, all he's got to do is finish the race and he's got uh, a sweet point or two in for him. Yeah, I think uh, let's take a look here. That would not be his first point. He did... No get a 8th position finish in Azerbaijan. I don't know if I'm saying yep. that correct. Azerbaijan. There we go. <laughs> this is why I surround myself with people smarter than me, because I can't say anything correctly. <laughs> All you these fucking the French track who, uh, names. And... You say this What's to the that? man who didn't even know that I had to turn on telemetry in order to record telemetry, <laughs> so, you know, we all have our hey, areas we've, of specialization. I was going to say, we've all got our strengths, you know? Exactly that. I must be the smartest tonight. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Take it when you can, man, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, safety car is so slow. Oh, Honestly, no! What just and happened? Rafa just spawned. Rafa he just was... spawned on the safety car. Oh, what a disaster. Yeah. Oh, he he my totally God. broke his front wing, and now he's... P9. They're, they're probably oh, going oh, in dear. too, so that that might be the end of his. I what mean, definitely that ends his Rafa. podium chances, I think, because the safety car is probably going in this lap. So. Well, we'll see. They haven't caught up yet, and if you get to the line here and they haven't gotten the group together, they may well have another lap under safety car, which is just going to be amazing. Oh my goodness, uh, the situation is going to be really tough for Mega Man, Bobino, and Cam. Although I have to note, Cam is in a very nice position. Uh, he's a couple of places higher. Normally he's sort of 
sixth, seventh area. But it's and now Ra one. Rafa is everywhere in, and he's holding up Falco Bronzo because Falco cannot uh, pass Can't, Rafa. Yeah. <laughs> We've got another Man. lap of safety car, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like, uh, yeah, I don't know if that was intentional. I think that's what Balzac was saying as well. Rafa was maybe going slow to trick the game into not sending the safety car in, which... I'm not crazy about that kind of move. Yeah, I, I wasn't watching him, but... I don't yeah, know if I, he was intentionally going slow, but... I don't know if it works oh, that way, because... Uh, I did uh, Mexico last year, and I was way back and the safety car goes in and I was uh, maybe half of uh, half of the track uh, back so mm -hmm. I, I don't know about it yeah <clears throat> well Fresh we'll just uh, we'll just assume we'll just assume that he was uh, being sportsmanlike and did not do that because I wasn't watching so I don't know but it was a bit weird. He just sort of came to a very slow point. It's possible that he was just having a lot of trouble because he, of course, was racing without a wing there, and that's going to really mess anyone up. Yeah, especially going sure. in through one of the most downforce-dependent corners. Very, very slow. I do struggling. think this changes a lot for this race. I mean, I think we were looking pretty handedly with our podium kind of s figured out by lap 12 or so, and here we are with Emruiz out who was a podium contender, absolutely. We had Rafa, who spun out. We had Cub, who tried the hards, which clearly were not working for him, sitting in P6. And uh, then we have half the pack on brand new softs with most of our front runners sitting on old mediums You're with welcome, a safety everyone. car restart. Yeah, I, I, yeah, anything could happen here, honestly. I, I, I still think Cub's got a good shot here because... I he think those mediums knows. are just going to be very, very slow. And the medium runners are going to be sitting soft, ducks so. here. They're going, they're going to fall down. But I, I'm sure that they're going to be vulnerable to to Cub, probably Diego and Narket. Cuthbert's also very nicely placed there, and we're going to see what he can do against guys normally higher up on the grid than uh, us folks in the back markers. But with tire advantage, he can do a lot. Yeah. And everyone's going to be, I mean, to, to Cuthbert's advantage here, he's got the tire advantage, but he also, you know, if he can stick on the back, and honestly, he's, he's at the front of the fresh tire runners. So well, I assume only Cub three laps will... him. True, yeah. I do, I do expect to see Cub slip by him very quickly, and I don't think Cuthbert's going to be able to, to latch onto Cub. That's just... Sorry, Cuthbert, but <laughs> I couldn't latch onto him either, you know. Um, and... I think Cub's got a little bit too much pace for that, but for I could see Cuthbert hanging on to a Diego for sure. Safety um, car in this lap, guys. I'm on board with Cub. Yep, let's see when Mega is actually going to go racing. I bet you it'll be right. This has such a great, easy. Like, if I'm leading the race, I know exactly when I'd do it. Which right is now. Stop. Yeah. Any. <laughs> Losing a little bit of grip, which, but Bobino was not even close, so didn't lose out anything there. But Rafa gonna make a move on Falco. Up the inside. And there you go. You can see Cub already up into P5 as kind of expected. He's on those fresh softs, feeling real good. I'm sure his confidence is refilled at this point. And Tron. Oh, make a move and on that Tron. Side of yeah. Oh, he's just blasting the ERS here. And Bobino does back off. Probably a smart move. He'll have another shot. And now, shot. Cub making a move on Cam just behind Bobino. Around the outside, coming into Pumon. Good lord. Coming in super hot. Pre pretty brave. <laughs> Cuthbert on Cam now. You. Cam is just getting eaten up by the guys around him. But I think there's going to be a solid race between these two. Cam might have had about a second in qualifying, but now he's on old mediums. Not just any mediums, these are nine lap old mediums. They're halfway through their lifespan here. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rafa has spun Baldex out, says, coming down to the double going to win this race. More trouble oh, for Rafa no. as he spun out in the double left. 
Man, McLaren can't catch a break. Specifically, Ross. Let's run on on Bobino here. I think he's gonna lunge at the end here. He may not even need it to be honest. He's got the slipstream. He is using a little bit of ERS. Defense. Bobino not fighting it. Oh, Bobino into the side of Cub there, but Cub makes it through. Whew. I'm not sure if there's the, oh no, a little bit of a kick moment there, and Ken takes his position back. Now Cuthbert coming up on Bobino. Bobino very tight on oh. the defense. Another wheel to wheel bang. But he's oh not no! Take from Cuthbert here. Uh, oh, no. Darker than Diego. Yeah, there's been a contact uh, between Diego and someone else, and Narkip just spawned at uh, La Source. A little bit uh, of action in the. Yeah, back I can't markers. even keep track. There's so much. Bobino shit taking right his now. position yeah. back. And Bobino, uh, Bobino took P5 from Codberg. Yeah, they've been kind of battling back and forth. Honestly, Cuthbert looking pretty good here. He's uh, he's definitely held on, he's fighting fighting with the big dogs. And Bobino uh, is fighting well with him, and Diego hasn't been able to close that gap. A, a two second gap is formed between them, and he hasn't pulled it in yet. Plus, he has penalties. Diego, Falco Branso, and RFX Rafa all with three seconds of penalties. Cuthbert, as is uh, as his is norm, keeping his nose very clean here. No penalties whatsoever. Yup. I think even if he doesn't quite have the pace to hold on, I think those penalties will absolutely come into play at the end. So, good on him. He's he's in for some some mega points. So we and see Rafa, Rafa pick up another yeah. three second penalty, which I think will put him up to six seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. I'd also like to say you're, this is just a fantastic totally right. race for Cuthbert and Falco, um, because I am not finishing with any points, and both of them are looking at scoring some big points today, which are going to catapult them into the lead of the little back marker group of Falco, uh, Cuthbert, and myself, who are in our own little private championship. <laughs> and really Cub with the, with the fresh uh, soft just did a 144.4. And a 143.9 for Rafa, who might be looking at picking up a fastest lap here. Tron. For the lead, on the inside of Mega Man. Mega Man is now just watching as Tron pushes past him. It's seven lap old softs versus ten lap old mediums, and right behind them, we have Cub, who is just licking his lips looking at this situation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think uh, it's very clear that Cub's feeling a lot better on those soft tires. Very clear. So we see Cuthbert still sticking on the back of Bobino here, getting a little bit of dirty air going around turn 11. I think that was. I mean, I think it's very possible to see Cuthbert making a move on Bobino here in the next lap. Certainly, fifth or so, is within reach for him. Which would be just mega. Oh, absolutely. And speaking of mega, Cub. Right behind him, coming in, gonna get a nice draft and DRS. Oh wait, sorry, no DRS on uh on this area, but it's going to be coming up soon, going into La Source first, and then uh, along the Kemmel Strait. Mega Man, looks like oh he was my making gosh. a move on the of Tron. He was taking a look. Work. And now one, two, and three. Mega Man with DRS, Cub with DRS, Tron with a uh, track position and soft tires. Cub with the fastest tires of them all, but no track position against these two. It's, well, this could go any way. I honestly think we're gonna see Cub even trying to pass Tron here, but Tron got away pretty good, actually. Looked like he might've gotten the best traction of the three of them, so I'm not Which even sure Mega is gonna get, get him here. I guess yeah, they can look, but off. he slips back in. And here we go. One and a half laps, gentlemen. We have a tight half a second battle for first place. Tron, Mega Man, and Cub. Yep, and we see another battle between uh, Bobino and Cuthbert for fifth. Cam holding on very nicely to that fourth position. Also no penalty, so he should be holding on to that if he keeps it clean for the rest of the race. Rafa still clawing his way back up, but I think he might have 
maxed out where he can probably get in the next lap yeah, and a he, half. He He's just five and a half did an overtake it. And honestly, I think the best he can do is hold on to that position because he does have an extra three seconds penal three seconds of penalties. Yeah, more uh, than Diego. Dubman says this is close. Holy, yep, it is. Uh, oh my come goodness, down the they are so tight. Mega Man up the inside of Tron. Cub looking, waiting. Oh my goodness. Oh, um, breaks a bit later. Cub going around. Is he going to take the inside? He is, and Mega Man is dropped down to third place. We kind of were expecting something like this, but we're coming into the final lap. He has 12 lap old medium tires against Cub's six lap old softs. Tron's nine lappers. Oh, and now this man. is all about Cub versus Tron for the win. I, you, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Mega Man, Mega. Tap the wall. He seems to be okay. I heard it, but I didn't see it. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I saw it uh, right in front of my face. Oof. And we see Cub is absolutely drained. Tron absolutely drained. They're completely maxed out here, and Cub is not going to be able to do it on that straight. Can he fight back anywhere else on the track here? The key thing is there are no DRS zones left. Up the inside, he looks. A wheel to wheel. <laughs> Wheel to wheel, Cub is holding it as tight as he dares. Tron leaving oh it. Oh my. Cub going wide. Tron leaves some space. Cub squeezes his way through. But Tron has the inside oh coming God. into the double left. Oh. They're going side by side down the hill. Tron holding on to it. God, these guys got some big old balls. <laughs> Unreal. And now Tron trying to follow through. Only a few corners to go. They're both penalty lists, so this is for position. Mega Man as just behind. Cuthbert actually making his way through Bobino as well, grabbing that fifth position what a as we come down the final straight. Uh, what a finish. We do see Diego, who does have penalties, so he probably won't risk it, but he is on the back of Bobino here as well. Yeah, I think we've pretty well got our finishing order because Rafa has made his three-second gap in front of Falco, so I think he'll hold on to that P8. Unless, and Cub uh, into the finish. Oh, man. And Crazy. Cuthbert, Ooh. fifth place. What a result for Cuthbert. Yeah, definitely his best. I think he had two P10s this season, if I'm not mistaken. Cuthbert, let's see. Okay, he had two P10s and a P9 last race, so by far his best results in Div 1, so congrats to him. Definitely right, driver of the day. Well earned. Man, what a race. The end between Tron and Cub on that one was, that was just quality racing. We saw, you know, just really respectful uh, overtake by Cub and or a really good fight by Tron there. I can't believe they both held their nerves. And they both were, you know, stubborn, but respectful. And uh, that's what you like to see, so. Tron and Mega Man had been practicing together throughout the whole practice race. So they ran pretty much a full race just before this one. So they had a lot of practice going into that with just that sort and of And it paid off with uh, Tron getting his, is that his first podium? No, it's not. He got two podiums early on in the season, but haven't seen him on, on the steps in a while. And it's his first P2, so his highest result. Um, Mega did get P2 last week, so another podium added also from uh, Mega, Rafa's which will penalties. put him in handedly in P2 here uh, in the championship. So I thought it would be M. Ruiz by the end of this race that, that kind of stood out as maybe a P2 contender, but we're actually going to see Mega jump up quite a bit here uh, rather than M. Ruiz. Uh, let's see, Cam. Definitely Cam's best result as well. Congrats to him. I think uh, before this, his his best result was P6. And I believe he got P5 or P... Yeah, it was P5, right? A very, that uh, sounds right. Yeah, I, was it P4? I, I think it was P5. I just Might have been P4. That. Well, it's been a fantastic race. Uh, I am both happy and very sorry that I casted it with you because uh, 
wasn't my initial plan to be casting this one at the end. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hate to see it, but thanks for coming and casting with us. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Great casting. And uh, yeah, um, for anyone that's watching, that was Division One of Formula Racing League or FRL. Um, if you're interested in racing with us, you can come check us out at frl.app. And uh, we've got lots of spots open in Division One. Uh, we do have some re reserve driver spots open for Division Two, which races on Mondays at the same time. Uh, and even if we uh, don't have a time slot for you, come check us out. And uh, there's definitely talks of spinning up uh, a third division. So come show your interest and uh, maybe we can make it happen. Red, exactly. as always, thank you, yeah. sir, for, for coming and casting with me. It was, uh, it was a pleasure. Yeah, it was really great. Uh, thanks to you uh, also. Um yeah, and uh, next week it's a it's a break week for Division Two, but Division One gonna race at Canada. To yes, uh, the rest yeah, they they are gonna do Canada because uh, round five was a disaster. Uh, thanks to uh, <laughs> thanks to Steam uh, for that. And yeah, uh, the next race uh, in two weeks gonna be Italy at Monza, and uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, it's a, it's a driver favorite for sure, and it's always fun to cast because uh, it's kind of a crazy track, so it's gonna be a yeah. good one. That's gonna be a good one, uh, yeah. Hell um, yeah. All right, boys. Well, thanks again, and uh, we'll see everyone uh, next week, next Wednesday. Until next yeah. time. See you guys. <laughs>